Hey babes and boss babes, welcome back to another video with Jess Jen. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back. And as you can see from the title, I'll be showing you where I get my packaging from for my jewelry business. So first things first, I like to keep things cost efficient. Like I don't try to spend too much when it comes to packaging just because my pieces are already not that expensive. So if you're just starting your jewelry business or you already have one and you want some new ideas on how to package your orders and keep it very cost efficient and also looking very professional, then stay tuned for this video because you will not regret watching it, okay? about you in my dreams at night there's something about you trying to ignore the signs do you even hear me when you speak yeah. okay so first thing is first i have my um erin card here and as you can see i have my erin card here and i just also bought this hole puncher from amazon just to punch holes so it already comes with uh, a guide so you know where to punch your holes and I just stick my earrings right in here right in here easy easy so I get this from Zazzle.com and I also get my necklace card from Zazzle.com as well and as you can see these two, two little lines here is a guide for where to cut for where to cut so you can get your necklace on there I'm just doing a quick demonstration so you would just slip your necklace right in here and this is how it looks so I get both these cards from Zazzle.com and next up on the list we have our bracelet card so this is how the card looks and I would put my waist beads when I was selling waist beads in here, but now I put bracelets, um, my belly chains, uh, and any necklace that is too big to go onto this um, necklace card, I will put it in here. And I will just, you could either use tape or you could use glue to just stick it together. I mean, use your imagination. And yeah, so this is how it looks. It comes like this. And then I also get my ring cards from the same place, which is going to be saddlehill.com. So my ring cards is where I put my nose rings, I put my rings, and my nose cuffs. And I use the clear resealable OPP bags to put my jewelry card in, just to give it a more clean, professional feel and look. And these are resealable, so... You take that off and you close it down and then it will look like this with, but obviously a jewelry piece would be inside and I get these from jewelrysupply.com um, you could also get these on Amazon as well um, the quality is about the same uh, when I both buy I do buy it on jewelrysupply.com but if you ever run out and you need something quickly you can also grab it on Amazon and I get two sizes but I ran out of the size that I usually use for my ring cards which is about I think the two by three I ran out of that size so I can't even show you so I just have the four by six and then also another um, another packaging of mine is our organza bag I place all every single jewelry into an organza bag I feel like it's just as a cute look plus these are reusable you could put anything in here um, after you take your jewelry out you could store your jewelry in here still or you could put your traveling you could put other little things in here if you're traveling you could put your jewelry in here I just like it because it's reusable um, and you could get these on Amazon I get mine from Amazon and I could leave the link down below for you guys but I get these organza bag four by six you, they have different sizes depending on what you're selling but I love these um, it just goes so great with my packaging and of course another thing that I pack with my packaging are 
ju our jewelry cloths to clean your piece to give it a reshine these are amazing I get these from Amazon as well so a lot of these things you can obviously get on Amazon um, so yeah these jewelry cloths and you could also bulk buy these in other places as well but I haven't found the need to just only ship these out with like necklaces um, bracelets anklets and jewelry that you can actually clean with these cloths not body jewelry so these last me a while I just want you guys to see the pink how pretty it is so yeah and then of course you cannot forget your thank you cards as a business owner you have to ship out a thank you card I don't care I don't care what anyone says I feel like especially as a small business owner you want to show your appreciation to your customer because how did they even find out about you to shop with you in the first place? You should be very grateful and I think you definitely need a thank you card. So I get my thank you cards um, from gotprint.com. You can use, you can also use zazzle.com for your thank you cards. You can use Vistaprint for your thank you cards. But I personally like gotprint.com. It's been amazing, the quality is amazing and I just, I have to rave about it. So I get my thank you cards from them. I make my thank you cards myself. And I have a little scratch off here and I get the scratch off sticker from Amazon as well I designed my thank you cards in canva.com and then I upload it to gotprint.com so this is how it looks and you need a thank you card you need one um, leave a little code on there so you could get you know your returning customers listen we got to do what we got to do as small business owners to get the people coming back and of course you have to ship your package out with something so I get my uh, bubble mailers from stamp.com and sometimes if I have bigger orders I will use a bigger bubble mailer and I will use like either or sizes and I get these from Amazon just a regular one because I don't really need that much for these so I would just grab these from Amazon and for the most part I get my bulk from stamp.com and I also use fragile stickers on my packages because I've been in the past I've had um, our jewelry break during transit so now I had to get on board and grab some fragile stickers and I get these from Amazon and I can link that below as well I hope this video was very beneficial to you start in your jewelry business or if you already have your jewelry business and you just want to save some extra coins on your packaging because my packaging I believe per order does not come up to more than two dollars per order for my packaging it could be less I haven't done the math in a while but when you bulk buy a lot of these things you save so much money um, so I try to keep it as cost efficient as possible because my pieces aren't really that expensive for starters so I wouldn't want to spend a bunch of money on packaging anyways and the packaging is cute it's professional it's not too much and it just does enough and I feel like it's perfect and it's great for especially what I sell and for my target audience and I have not any complaints and thank you guys so much for tuning into the video and if you made it this far don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one about you in my dreams I